Hey there folks, so for the 50th Pokebox 5 Black and White Battle, I have a battle for you today against Hardcore LMFAO, better known to the world as Somalia, at least if you travel in small gun circles. He's mostly on PO, but uh, he actually, while I was in a PO match, he messaged me, I was like, hey, do you want a battle? And I was like, I only do uh, Wi-Fi, and he was like, okay, we'll do Wi-Fi, so I was like, alright. And so here we are, um, I lead off with my Uxie, he leads off with uh, my counterpart, uh, Deoxys D, which is so freaking bulky, but actually, uh, I, I was really surprised to learn this, Uxie is about, uh, has actually comparable bulk, I think it actually might be slightly bulkier, uh, depending on the set. Anyway, I switch out into my Kazulu here, as he goes up, goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rocks, he goes ahead and Thunder Waves, um, I'm gonna be okay with that, it's not great, but Kazulu is slow as anything anyway, so I go for the Sleep Powder, it misses, and I'm like, oh well, you know, Sleep Powder misses, it happens, so he gets off free round of spikes, here I get fully paralyzed, and I'm like, no! Are you serious? So he goes for the Nightshade to get off some damage, and this is really not good. I get fully paralyzed again! And at this point he's like, okay, this is just ridiculous. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks, uh, you know, until you finally hit me with Sleep Powder. I get fully paralyzed a third time, and at this point I'm like, no, no, no just play it as is. Hacks is part of the game, just play it as is. I don't want, you know, I mean, it was really nice of him to say uh, that he'd do that, but it really, I don't ask people to do that. I think that's ridiculous to ask people to do that. Anyway, I finally put him to sleep after he gets me down to about half health with another Nightshade. He was like, well, at least I'm not going to set up spikes. So, anyway, his Deoxys is asleep. Uh, he switches out into Arcanine. Um, and I'm actually going to switch out here as well. I wasn't predicting the switch or anything, but I just figured I really can't do too much against it besides put it to sleep. Uh, switch out into Clank, my Golurk, and I'm thinking this guy, you know, most Arcanines I feel like are banded. Mine, mine's banded at least. Uh, and even though this guy's running an Intimidate set, I don't see leftovers, so I'm fearing the banded Flare Blitz, which I cannot survive, so I switch out into Blake, um, to take the Flare Blitz. And I take a lot of damage from those entry hazards. I really, you know, it might be a good idea for me to have a spinner, but usually it's not really a problem because my sleep powder is going to hit early on. Anyway, um, I was expecting, you know, him to be banded. He's not banded. It, turn, it turns out he's leftovers. Or sorry, life orb. And so in here, uh, I get out, take a lot of damage from that extreme speed. I take out his Arcanine with a flare blitz, but I'm going to die to recoil. So that's, uh, so we both lost our Arcanines. It's kind of a wash. Um, I really wish I'd, my Arcanine had stuck around. Oh well. Uh, he sends out Kingdra here, and I'm thinking this guy's probably going to de uh, Dragon Dance or Switch or something. He's going to go ahead and set up a sub. I'm just going to go ahead and break that sub with Psychic, and I'm just going to keep hitting him until he hits me. Uh, I'm not, I don't want him to get off a free Dragon Dance, and a free Dragon Dance behind a sub would be really, really bad. Uh, I really could probably use a Roarer on this team, but... You know, it takes up a slot, uh, and you can't have you can't have everything. So here I go for a psychic. Uh, I'm getting down. I'm doing actually a lot of damage with those psychics, and if it weren't for those leftovers, I'd be okay. But here's that plus one goes for the outrage, and at this range of health, I actually survive on 13, which is really badass. I was not expecting to survive. Um, Patrick has no form of recovery uh, aside from rest, and so I'm gonna have to stay in and die. Uh, and just hope that he only gets the two-turn outrage. Patrick goes down, and that is that is what it is. I really could have switched out into my Empoleon. Actually, if I'd switched out into my Empoleon from the beginning, there's not, really not too much he could do against my Empoleon. Um, so here, he's going to go for the outrage. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the agility. Um, yeah, so I'm now down to half health. My air balloon is popped. He gets the confusion, which is great. I get off the agility, I'm going to be faster, and now the question is, is he going to stay in? Now, I, again, I'm going to be faster because I'm at plus two. Uh, I think Ice Beam should be able to kill at this range, but I'm not positive. But if not, you know, there's a chance of him hitting himself in the confusion. I get a crit. I would have to calc that to see if that crit mattered. I mean, it is neutral, but Kingdra's not that frail. I don't know. Deoxys is now out, and I do something really stupid, and that's I stay in. I should have bought... Um, bet on him staying asleep at least one turn, or if I hadn't, if I had been wanting to be really conservative, I could have switched out into 
my Tang Growth, but the best move here would have been to switch out into Golurk, take the opportunity to get off a free switch. As you see, he gets at least two turns of sleep. Golurk would be behind a sub, and I could start fo um, not focus punching, shadow punching. It would have been great. Instead, I'm like, no, no, I'm going to stay in, I'm going to stay in. And so here I go for the Scald again. He's going to wake up. He's going to go for the Thunder Wave, and I'm going to be paralyzed. And he could just go for the Recover here, recover up all that health, and undo all my hard work. And I'm like, this is not good at all. I'm playing like a moron. Instead, he decides to go for the Spikes rather than um, for the Recover. He might not carry the Recover, for all I know. Um, wait, he doesn't carry the recover. Ooh, why didn't he carry the recover? That seems silly to me. Anyway, Tux is paralyzed, so this magna, uh, this magneton, I'm just death fodder for this magneton. Uh, it's going to kill me with a T-bolt. Uh, that's a, it, he gets a crit. I doubt that crit mattered. I mean, uh, Empoleons are bulky, and this is a magneton, not, not a magna zone. Um, I was a little surprised to see the leftovers. Like, why would you run leftovers? But, um, I mean, this is UU, so you can't run magna zone. Um, but also, his set's going to make more sense in a minute. He goes for the sub, and this is why you want to go for leftovers rather than Aviolite, because, um, if you, you know, Magneton's actually fairly fast, and, um, you know, it can recover off that health if it's going for the leftover set. So, anyway, um, we both will go for our leftovers. He's going to go for the Flash Cannon. I am just hoping that I can, that my sub can take that, but I'm, uh, turns out not so much. Uh, oh well, too bad. Clank is going to go for the Earthquake, at least I'm going to break his sub. Uh, you know, the best move, I guess, would have just actually been to go for two Earthquakes, um, and then I could have actually, well, he would have just sub well, he wouldn't have substalled me, it would have been good, it would have been good, but oh well. I'm at half health, I'm hoping that I can survive the Flash Cannon, but I haven't counted, I don't know. He's going to hit me, it's going to hit a whole hard, uh, it's going to hit a lot, takes me down to 30. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and I am going to take out his Magneton, which is nice. I mean, 4x effective. Obviously, I'm going to take out his Magneton. That wasn't really a question. So, going to recover a little bit of health, up to 53. Uh, he's get, now goes out to Weavile, and I'm just hoping that he predicts my switch and goes for the Sword Stance. That's really my only hope. So here I go for the unprotected Focus Punch, and he goes for an Ice Shard. Didn't really, he couldn't, didn't really need to go for the Ice Shard. He could have gone for no, numerous other things, but oh well. Um, Clank is down. Uh, this is not a Life Orb set. I'm wondering if it's, he's banded. Um, and I'm hoping that Hugabug might be able to take it if he's banded and locked in. But instead, he I was actually hoping that if he, if he wasn't banded, he'd predict me to be Scarfed and still go for the Ice Shard and maybe I could survive. Instead, I don't. I die. Send out Kudzulu. Um, and, you know, this game is over, but... You know, I am pretty bulky. I might be able to take an Ice Shard, and indeed, as you're about to see, I do take the Ice Shard. Now, he's got Neon Mega in the wings, and I get fully paralyzed again! And so, you know, as he said, you know, his Neon Mega would have destroyed me, but it would have been nice to get one more KO. Oh well. Uh, Ice Shard is going to take me out, and that's great game, Somalia. So, folks, it has been 50 uh, Pokebox 5 black and white battles. I hope you've enjoyed them, and I'm looking forward to 50 more. Uh, so long, folks.